Hey everyone. In this video, we will look at how to get the formula bar in Power Query Editor. So let's say the fo formula bar is not appearing for you. Uh, uh, how do you how, how do you get that to work? So let's start. I've got the Power BI desktop open here with me and it's a blank file. There's no data I've loaded. So I'll just on the home tab, I'll click on the home tab and then I can go on to get data. And let's say I want to, you could choose any uh, source, but just for the sake of example, I'll just click on Excel. And I've got a, a COVID data set sitting here with me. So I point to that and hit open. And now I'll just select the COVID data and hit on transform data. So on the right hand side, you can see, so uh, essentially what it does is this, uh, it writes M query code to get the data. So it points to the source that navigates and then does some uh, more uh, uh, data typing or formatting the data. So these are the set of steps. So if I click on the first one, you can see it's pointing to the Excel workbook over here. This is the formula bar. In the next step, it's selecting the table or, or, or the file, uh, file or the tab which we selected and then it's just changing the data types. So this is what is, but for let's say for example, this formula bar is not available to you. Or let's say you want to hide the formula bar. How do you do that? So on here, you go to the view tab. So in the Power Query Editor, you're on the home tab, you go to the view tab and this formula bar button, just uncheck it. And you can see the formula bar is not available to you. So net, now let's say you want this to become available to you. You go back and hit that again. So you, you get the formula bar. So in this video, we uh, learned how to access a hide or unhide the formula bar in Power Query Editor. So I hope you find this video useful. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Uh, cheers. Bye.